Hello, can you evaluate 5 to the power of 7 minus 6 without a calculator? So I'm going to show you step by step of how you can do this in this particular video. Now, we have our 5 to the power of 7 minus here. We can replace this 6 as summation of 5 and 1. So you have 5 plus 1. I put it in bracket because I'm just considering this 6. So from here, I have 5 to the power of 7. I'm going to multiply everything with this minus here. I have minus 5. That's minus times 5. And also I have minus 1. That's minus times positive 1. So the next step will be for us to consider this exponent which is 7, and we are going to express it as summation of 6 and 1. So we are going to replace it with this. So we have 5 to the power of 6 plus 1 minus 5 minus 1. Now, if you have a to the power of n plus n, this equals a power n times a power n. So we are going to apply this identity right here. That means we are going to have 5 to the power of 6 times 5 to the power of 1 minus 5 minus 1. So at this point here, you observe that 5 to the power of 1 is the same thing as 5. So that means we are going to have 5 power 6 times 5 minus 5 minus 1. So there is 5 here and there is 5 here. So we can factor that out. So I have my 5 outside. Then I'm going to divide this. By 5, so I'm going to have 5 power 6. Then I bring the minus. Then I also divide 5 by 5. I'm going to have 1. And this is minus 1. So from here, I can express this 5 power 6 as 5 power 3 raised to the power of 2. So I'm going to have 5, this 5 here. Let me make use of square brackets. Instead of writing 5 power 6, you can have 5 power 3 raised to the power of 2. Because if you multiply this exponent using this identity, so if you multiply this 3 times 2, you are going to have 6. You have minus 1. And this is minus 1. Now, if you observe, this is power 2. And I would like to make use of difference of two squares because this is minus already. So for me to make use of difference of two squares, I also I need to raise this to the power of two. And the good thing is one to the power of two is the same thing as one. So it doesn't really matter. Now we have power two here and power two here and there is minus here. So we can make use of difference of two squares, which is a power two minus b power 2 equals a plus b times a minus b. And in this case, a equals a 5 power 3 and b equals 1. So let's insert it right here. That means we are going to have for a plus b, we have 5 power 3 plus 1 times for a minus b, we have 5 power 3 minus 1. Now, what is the value of 5 to the power of 3? This equals 5 times 5 times 5. And 5 times 5 is 25, 25 times 5, this is 125. So what we are going to have here will be, this is 125 plus 1 times this is 125 
minus one. And don't forget the fact that we still have our five right here. And there's minus one. So let's insert it right there. So we have five. We multiply everything here. And we have minus one. So let's add up this. 125 plus one. We have five times. This is 126. And 125 minus one. This is 124. And this is minus one. So the next thing we are going to do will be for us to multiply this out. So we have 126 times 124. So the fastest way to do it will be for us to replace this 126 with, or we can express it as 100 plus 26 times 124. We can express it as 100 plus 24. So from here, this is in the form of a plus b times a plus c because b is 26 and c is 24. So for us to expand this, we make use of this trick a squared plus a times root b plus c plus b times c. So from this particular expression, 100 is our a. 26 is our B, 100 is our A again, and 24 is our C. So we are going to insert it right here. Now for A squared, that means we are going to have 100 squared plus, this is 100 times B plus C, that is 26 plus 24, plus B times C, that is 26 times 24. So from here, you have 100 squared, that is 100 times 100, and that is 10,000 plus 100 times 26 plus 24, that is 50 plus 26 times 24, we are going to have 624. Now, the next step will be for us to multiply this out. So we are going to have this is 10,000 plus, this is 5,000 plus 624. So let's add up these three. We are going to have 10,000 plus 5,000, 15,000, 15,000 plus 624. That is 15,624. That is 15,624. Now, the next step will be for us to Multiply this by 5. So we have 5 times this, and we have minus 1. So let's multiply it out. I'm going to have 5 times 1, 5, 6, 2, 4. So let me do that before I would then subtract 1 from it. I'm going to have 5 times 4. So 5 times 4 is 20. I'm going to have 0 and carry over 2. 5 times 2, 10. 10 plus 2, 12. 2 carry over 1. 5 times 6, 30. 30 plus 1, 31. 1 and carry over 3. 5 times 5. 25, 25 plus 3, 28, 8, and carry over 2. 5 times 1, 5, 5 plus 2, 7. Now we have this as the product, then we are going to subtract 1 from this. And when once we do that, we are going to have 7, 8, 1, 1. Nine, because 20 minus 1 is 19. So this becomes our final answer without the use of calculator for 5 to the power of 7 minus 6. And this equals 7, 8, 1, 1, 9. So that is it. Thank you and goodbye. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video to your friends if you have gotten any value. Drop a comment box. Drop a comment on the comment box and
don't forget to like as well. Thank you guys. See you again.